friends, thank you so much for joining me at home with Susanna. You are in my backyard for those who don't know me. My name is Susanna and I talk about mainly gardening, cooking, some local things and some traveling at some point soon. And I've joined this Facebook group with the purpose of getting rid of my lemons, as you can imagine, because they grow so well here in Arizona. Many of our neighbors and friends already have lemon trees and they're not in need for any more lemons. So I will be giving some away to those I know, but the majority of them have to go somewhere else. And joining this group, apparently what you do is you leave some of the produce out, any excess that you have of anything, uh, you kind of advertise it in the group and um, somebody will come and they might bring some of their goodies along or not and they'll take your excess. Um, so it's something new and I want to give it a try. So today I am going to be uh, putting that stand together and also collecting some of the seeds from some of the flowers that are drying right now and hopefully that will make someone's day. I hope that you enjoy it. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. It really means a lot. It means that not only do you like what you see, but you're supporting me and it makes me want to do more and show you more of what's possible because if I can do it, you can do it. So let's get started. Some of you might have seen a couple of pictures of these beautiful flowers and oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, hi birdie. He is beautiful. What a nice surprise, good timing. We have lots of hummingbirds. So, talking about these beautiful flowers, I believe they're calendulas. I put the seeds down sometime in November. I wasn't sure if they were going to grow, but um, the winter didn't kill anything. They started growing and I already have the first dried calendula and this is the one from the actual picture. So I am going to get this. I will cut it. And I will collect the seeds. This is my huge basil plant that some of you might already know from the first video that I ever did on YouTube. I will link that below as well. Um, in that video, I talk about how important it, it is to trim the, the top of the basil so that it doesn't go into flower. And I did let it go into flower by mistake because it's just so big right now. I mean, it was a little plant, it turned into a bush. It actually survived the entire winter. And so this happened. So I cut it down and I will use the seeds. I will give those away too. Um, but you don't wanna have this happen all the time because it kind of ruins your basil. So I will take this as well. And I'll spend more time later trimming the rest. Here I have some of the marigolds that I had planted last year. Um, they did really well throughout the winter. Uh, some of them have dried up and so I will be collecting these flowers and there are hundreds and hundreds of seeds inside. So I will have that in my stand as well. It's time to get organized. I harvested some basil too and I've got all my seeds and I'm just gonna separate them and put them in small snack bags. I've got some paper here that I used to do crafts with when the kids were younger. They're teenagers now, they're boys, so they're not really interested in that anymore. So it's for me. Um, I have my refreshment. Today's special is sparkling water with delicious lemon. It's refreshing and this reminds me of a video that I took a few months ago. If you haven't seen it yet, 
you need to because I probably will make you laugh a little bit. I took a lot of different takes, I just couldn't get it right and it was about citrus water and I kept drinking and I was full. So on some of the takes you can actually see it in my face that I don't want to drink anymore. Not that anyone was making me do that, but you know, so chin chin to that and hmm. anyways, um, check it out when you're done with this video. This will be the video that I post right after. So let's get going. I've got my marigolds here and I've got tons of them. Then I have basil. And the basil flowers where the seeds live. So I've got four things going on over here. I'm sure it's hard to see it all. I don't want to drop it. Now it's time to put it in the little baggies. I'm just going to do two flowers per bag. So I want to show you this. This is just one flower. It basically looks dead but this has so much life guys all you have to do is this you see and then voila look at this hopefully you can see it there's so many seeds one seed one plant so when you think of dead flowers. Think again. Now the calendula seeds. These are tiny. The seeds are really little. So I'm just gonna put about, I don't know, like five to ten seeds, maybe a little more. Again, one seed, one plant. I'm sorry if the quality of the video has changed, but my phone died and I ended up taking my older phone. Um, so here I am, I am back. In the meantime, I put together the notes and there's a bunch of them in this basket. It says take one or take seeds and then the other basket has some bags so that people can help themselves to lemons or whatever they need that day. Um, so I'm gonna take you outside where my little stand is located and um, hopefully I can get rid of some of the lemons. Hi friends, thank you so much for tuning in at Home with Susanna. You are in my backyard in Gilbert, Arizona. It is another gorgeous day. It is actually quite warm and a little bit humid for Arizona. Or maybe it's my lotion on my legs, I don't know. 